it doesn't look like it at all because it's still dark out. It's the next morning. It's about 7.05 a.m. And it's still pitch black out because Michigan's in the eastern time zone. But it's as far west as you can go and still be in the eastern time zone. So, like, back home, New Hampshire, where I'm from, you know, in the greater Boston area, it's daylight right now. And it has been for half hour, 45 minutes already. But out here, just not even dawn, just pitch black. And that is very interesting. It's 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 always been. I mean, I've always wondered why like Michigan and Indiana weren't in Central Time because I had the same. I noticed the same thing with the daylight, you know, being different when I was in Indiana. But anyhow, I slept in the car in a Meyer parking lot in Wixom, Michigan, which is midway between Detroit and Grand Rapids. Excuse me, midway between Detroit and Lansing. And Meyer, if you're not familiar, it's based out of Michigan, but it's in the Midwest. It's like Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, Wisconsin, Illinois, I think. And it's like a cross between a Target and a Walmart. It's kind of like a Walmart. And I just went in, got some, uh, got a couple of little, little snacks and things. I'll, I'll turn the camera around and show you the Meyer. On the agenda for today, I'm going to head over to the western part of the state, to the Grand Rapids area. I'm going to go see Lake Michigan from the Michigan side. I saw it from the Chicago side a few weeks ago over in Illinois on that trip. But um, I'm going to go to a Grand Rapids Griffins hockey game tonight, which is in the AHL, one notch down from the NHL. And it's post-game open skate at the Van Andel Arena after the game, which I'm really excited for. But it means I need to find some ice skates somewhere. So I'll probably hit a used sporting goods store or maybe find something off Craigslist just to get some used hockey skates for that. So I will show you what happens today. It's 12.30 in the afternoon. I haven't vlogged much of anything today other than first thing this morning that you just saw. And I was running around having a heck of a time trying to get some ice skates for the open skate after the Grand Rapids Griffins game today. I finally found some. Had to go a couple different places, like used sporting goods stores. And I got a halfway okay pair of skates for short money. I paid like 25 bucks for a beat up pair of CCM skates. Which I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, gonna be fun tonight. I didn't want to miss out on that. But I was just so eager to try out my new skates that I'm going to go to a local ice rink here in Grand Rapids that has public skating this afternoon, hit the ice for a little bit, and then I'm going to head out to the lakeshore of Lake Michigan, which is like 45 minutes west of here, then do a big loop back around and then head back into Grand Rapids for the game tonight. So that's what I'm doing. I will see you inside the ice rink. Just had a really great time at public skating and it was really good to try out my new skates everything's good with those this place is called the walker ice let's look over the sign it's called the walker ice and fitness center in walker michigan which is right next to grand rapids now i'm going to drive out to the coast of lake michigan and run around out there for a little bit in the car and get out on foot in a couple places I have planned which I will show you when we get there and yeah so one thing I'm noticing about Michigan is that everybody drives wicked fast not just in the Grand Rapids area where I am now but all over the state everybody goes really fast like I'm going 70 right now and it feels really slow and there's people going by in the left lane going like 85 plus I had a guy in a pickup truck tailgate me this morning when I was going 85. So I pulled over into the other lane and let him go by. He was going about 95 in a pickup truck. I'm not complaining. I think that's awesome. You get where you're going really quick out here. I've seen like maybe one cop the entire time. And people were going like 80 right by him and he wasn't writing tickets. So Very refreshing. You get places quickly here in Michigan. One thing that's not refreshing about driving around out here though is most of the roads, like this is probably the best road I've seen so far. A lot of the roads could use some work. Potholes, just cracks filled, it's just, the roads are in crappy condition but at least they let you drive on them quickly. 
it's been fun. I'm not gonna vlog and drive that fast, but most of this trip so far, I've been going between 80 and 90, and that's just the normal flow of traffic. The speed limit is 70, by the way, but it doesn't seem like they really enforce it. At least not that I've seen. It's bright and sunny and it feels really good. This is Rosie Mound Natural Area in, I got the town here, in Grand Haven, Michigan, west of Grand Rapids on the lake shore. And I'm gonna go walk around. It looks like a pretty decent trail system here. It's not that cold. It's in the low 40s today. So let's go and check it out. Walking through the parking lot to get to the bathroom which is just like a little outhouse but at least they have one and i saw the trail map the lake is like quite a ways in there this is going to be a longer walk than i thought i think i have time to do it though and it's not cold So I guess in the summer it costs seven bucks to park here, but it's not summer, so it's free. It must be big in here because there's quite a few cars in the parking lot and I've yet to see another person. So far the scenery reminds me of back home in New England. Trees, lots of leaves on the ground. Some hills. It's just, I mean it's slightly different I guess, but this is a lot like back home. There's the lake. So that really wasn't quite as far as the map led me to believe. I'm so glad I came here. This is exceeding all expectations so far, and I'm not even down to the lake just yet. Incredible.
And if you watch my videos regularly, I am keeping my feet in the lower half of me dry this time, unlike in Oregon and unlike in St. Louis. So this is looking right out into Lake Michigan, one of the Great Lakes, obviously. Straight across this way, Milwaukee is directly across about 70 miles or so from here. And then down this way, further to the south, is Chicago, and that's roughly speaking about 125 miles. It is a big lake. Obviously back in the car. I am so glad I came here. That was just... I mean, I thought it would be a shorter walk than it was. It was it was, it was a ways to get down there, but I'm so glad about that because every bit of it was very enjoyable. The lake shore was great. Got to see the sun going down over Lake Michigan. And it took a little longer than I expected, but that is that is perfectly okay. Time well spent. So it's time to head to Grand Rapids for the Griffins hockey game tonight. And I do have my skates in the back seat for the post-game public skate. And I know I always say I'm going to show you what I have to eat, and I never remember to show you, but I will try to do that today because I'm going to get something to eat on the way downtown. And yeah. this before.
Good evening. I know I'm kind of hard to see right now. I'm hanging out in the back seat of the car. I'm at a highway rest area about 25, I think it's like 20, 25 miles east of Grand Rapids on I-96. This is where I'm spending the night right here in the good old car. Great money saver, same as I did last night. I might grab a shower at a truck stop tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, the last thing you saw before this was me ice skating on the rink at Van Andel Arena. So let's recap where I left off. And I'm exhausted. It probably sh it probably shows. Uh, all right, so so the game was really good. I didn't have time to eat before the game. I ended up just going straight to the game because I really wanted to be there for 6 o'clock to meet up with somebody that I connected with on Craigslist. I was able through Craigslist to get in touch with a season ticket holder of the Griffins that had extra tickets. And he had, um, you know, some. I think he had like four or six tickets for tonight, something like that. I emailed him. I was like, hey, I need one. You sell me one, 15 bucks cash because the normal uh, walk up to the window price was 19 so I figured yeah, I'll save some money and he was like yeah 15 bucks let's meet up in front of the arena and that's exactly what we did so I'm all for saving money and it, it was just kind of cool that my ticket for tonight came from a season ticket holder so the game itself uh, was really great uh, Grand Rapids gave up a couple of goals real early, down two to nothing, tied it at two, then fell down four two. Milwaukee was up on them by a couple of goals, then got a quick one early in the third period, and it was four three Milwaukee for most of the third period. Then with like a minute seventeen remaining, I think Grand Rapids put one home, and the whole place, including me, went nuts. It was so exciting. The tying goal with. A minute and change to go in the third and scoreless overtime Grand Rapids won in the shootout obviously you just saw those videos I'll put them into the uh, this vlog before what you're seeing now and then I did the open skate after the game which was so cool I just to be a uh, to be on the ice at Van Andel Arena in Grand Rapids Michigan was very cool especially being a New England guy just like I know a lot of people who follow hockey, AHL, NHL, ECHL, that have heard of all of these teams, but have never been there. And to, for me to be able to text them pictures, like, hey, yeah, I'm skating on the ice at Van Andel Arena, Grand Rapids. Oh, it's, it's great. It is great. But it was an interesting time trying to find the open skate once the game ended. Because what I did is I went to the customer service, like, arena information table on the concourse before the game even started. And they said, like, yeah, here, here's where you go. And they told me where to be and where to wait for the public skate after the game. So I game ends and I go over there. And there's literally nobody around. I only saw, like, two other people with skates the whole night. Everybody's leaving the arena, and I'm trying to figure out where you go for the open skate. And so I finally asked, like, a security guard that was standing by the exit, and he had no idea. He went and asked, like, a couple of ushers from the arena. They had no idea. But the uh, these two ushers were really nice. There was a man and a woman, both, like, probably in their 60s, pushing 70. Really older really nice folks and they're like we really don't know where to send you nobody told us and but they're like come here we'll take you we'll take you downstairs and i got to ride on like this service elevator down from the main concourse level into like the underbelly of the arena right down to like the back room where the zamboni goes in and out and the locker rooms and stuff is down there so i was on that level and they still didn't know where to go so then eventually like there was somebody who worked for the griffins not you know for the arena as an usher that told me where to go and i guess i got they had given me wrong information at that information table before the game because the entrance was like someplace else on the other side of the arena and all the other people for the open skate were already down there but yeah they they showed me where it was and it was good, all good, all fine. Interesting experience. I probably wouldn't have got to ride the service elevator otherwise. 
and open skate was really fun obviously you just saw those videos and so after that I well first I'll only tell you about the parking it was $15 arena parking down there which just anytime you, I have to pay $15 to park and I'm not upset about it I better be in freaking Manhattan or somewhere like I don't like paying $15 to park in a, in a mid-sized city so I pulled over like just on the side of the road and I looked up the Grand Rapids city website found the municipal parking information had a map of meters and everything and I did have to walk a half a mile but I parked for free on street so I will gladly walk a half a mile to save $15 very very nice city Grand Rapids loved it downtown was vibrant I mean it was late Saturday night when the game got out so there was all kinds of people all over the sidewalks like dozens of bars had, had a lot of nightlife um, I mean I didn't I didn't partake in that I just walked around and explored and I, I drove from where I parked the car for the game I got back in the car and I drove smack downtown and by then it had cleared out enough I found a space and I walked around for like a half hour explored downtown a little more and I mean, Grand Rapids in this western Michigan area it would be very livable. Wouldn't want to live like... I wouldn't want to live in Metro Detroit, but I could live in Grand Rapids. I'm not moving anywhere anytime soon, but... Very nice area. Alright, I have rambled on long enough. I am going to get some sleep here. And I think I'm going to have a slight change of plans tomorrow which is going to be quite a bit more exciting than what I originally planned. I only have... Ah, fuck. It's 2.15 a.m. right now. If I'm going to do what I want to do, I have to get on the road by 5.30, but I'm going to try. And the last little bit of information to tie up, I had another Little Caesars pizza for dinner tonight. Ate it right here in the car a few minutes ago. Found one... I mean, a little more than like an hour ago. I found one that was open not far from the arena in Grand Rapids. It made it in like 10 minutes before they closed. And I will have something else tomorrow. I've had two Little Caesars pizzas on this short trip so far. <laughs> but hey, that, that Little Caesars arena in Detroit really set the mood. Alright, I'll shut up now. I'm going to end the video here. I will talk to you tomorrow.